Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did not want to have to film this update in the car. I just have had no time to do a sit down video. I didn't even put makeup on today. I'm currently on my way to my sister's and I thought I'm gonna be in the car for a while. Let's do this. Um, we, so I know you guys are all waiting for like an IVF update, just like, life is crazy right now I said on Instagram that there's been a lot of ups and a lot of downs so good news first good news well it's not first good news let's just go with what you guys all want to know our IVF cycle didn't work um, I'm gonna try really hard not to cry <sighs> um, last Saturday no two Saturdays ago I could not sit through all of the footage and do like a video I did last time because this time I was so I just we really thought it was gonna work and I couldn't go through all of that footage of me being so positive and it just um, it would have been really hard because I was just like yes this is it this is the time and I'm just I'm not there yet um, so we started in um, August we started stims when I was down the shore actually and um, I didn't respond well last time and um, I'm a little frustrated that the doctor didn't do something differently but my left ovary didn't respond at all to the meds so um, we only got three eggs out of that egg retrieval all three did fertilize but only one made it to day five transfer like we had nothing to freeze so we had, we transferred that one fresh transfer. Oh, sorry, Rob called and now I lost my train of thought completely. The sun is shining finally for the first time in days. Um, so we did our transfer lat on Saturday, September 1st. Um, I didn't like that the clinic didn't tell me the grading of the embryo and every time that I talked to them, I forgot to ask. Um, they didn't, so they didn't, I know that it's like very normal for like the clinics to not give like updates often but um I just feel like I don't know I just I'm not happy with the way it turned out I'm not happy that things weren't changed knowing that the first cycle I didn't respond well um I don't know so we're back at square one last Saturday I started bleeding and I took a test and um it was negative so now next thing um last week was like the first week of like my new job life and um the woman that i was supposed to be working for monday fridays canceled on me last minute she said not like i don't i still like them and i'm still gonna work for them on the weekends because they're really really easy kids and easy money um she got her son into the program at school that is more days a week so I went on a rampage applying for jobs and I randomly applied for a para position at the school, the district that I live in, the, the town that I live in. And um, if you guys are unaware, paras are like a one-on-one -on -one aid to a kid and it, the pay is awful, um, but it offers benefits. So I went in there for a part-time position just thinking, I didn't even wanna go. I was like, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna do this, this is a waste of my time, this is not what I wanna do. Um, the principal loved me an hour later. He called back and he's like, you know, I want to offer you a full-time position And I was like does this offer benefits and he said yeah, you get full-time benefits Everything that like a full-time employee of a school district gets minus the good salary <laughs> So I was just like driving myself crazy over this because it's like I don't want to be doing this I don't want to be doing this um, but everything happens for a reason. So I started the job this Wednesday. I don't love it. Um, I might learn to love it. Um, I'm at with I'm at a middle school, so it's not even like my um, my age of kids that I would ever work with at a school. I'm only certified to teach up to fifth grade, and it's a change. Um, I'm not used to. <laughs> having to get dressed every day for work. I'm not used to, I'm not saying, I'm not ungrateful. I am very grateful that this came around because the insurance 
is amazing. We will get up to four rounds covered now, which is like, holy cow. I'm I'm just like floored that everything happens for I, anybody going through infertility hates that phrase anybody going through something hard hates that phrase everything happens for a reason so I mean it sucks that we're out all the money that we spend for the first round but we're very grateful that we I was given this opportunity it's a pay cut it is I'm still able to keep my family in the afternoon though so kind of makes up for it I do have to put like my postpartum doula dreams on hold for now but I have other dreams I'm, I want to be a mom and I can't get there any other way right now and it's it's just a big change and I'm not like I'm not in love with it yet so I'm just like eh, about life um, I'm trying really hard to be positive I think once I have a new doctor's appointment set to talk to a new doctor we are switching doctors not just because we're not happy I'm not happy but like I know that like cuz I can go in there and I could talk to him and we could change things but he's so far away the doctor that we were using and I'd like to have something closer now the clouds are out the weather here is insane um, I'd like to have a doctor closer Rob's sister went through IVF so we're gonna try her doctor um, and see how it goes I think I'll be a lot happier once we're started with another round because I just I know that like a whole new doctor might want to do a whole new bunch of tests. Um, having this insurance might open up opportunities to be able to do more tests. Like, I didn't do any laparoscopy type of tests to see about my scar tissue because insurance never covered it. So, I don't know if like they're going to want to do that. I don't know how much this is going to be delayed. <sighs> so, I, I know I have to have patience. I know I have to just wait to see what happens but it's just like you know like you're so close to something and it's all gone in a matter of seconds I literally would thought I'd be pregnant right now I thought I went to dinner with my friends last night I thought I'd be announcing to them that it worked it's just I'm it's I, I have no other way to describe my feelings other than it's like you're going through a really bad heartbreak because there's nothing you can do to fix it and I don't know. I'm just very grateful for, um, there's a car like watching me be emotional talking to a camera. This is so awkward. Move up, people. Um, um, uh, what was I gonna say before I got distracted? <laughs> I know life could be worse. I know that I'm I'm so grateful that I didn't get, I know so many people going through this miscarry get like those positive tests and I can't imagine like getting a positive test and then it going away. So I'm so happy, I'm not so happy, but I'm like very grateful that that didn't happen because I, I'd, I'd become a shell of a person if like we finally got a positive test and like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant and then in a, it could be gone before you even know it. Whew, I'm so, this is a very just like raw emotional video. So we've got that. And another thing is now that we're not doing these fertility treatments, I did sign back up for Weight Watchers. Um, I've had, I, I've been like toying with a lot of different ways to like get my eating back under control. Um, I'm in no way ready to do a whole 30. I would like to do a whole 30, but I'm just getting ready, do, getting used to like this whole new job change. That I, what I was trying to say earlier is like, I can't <laughs> make breakfast at work anymore. I can't, uh, I can go home for lunch, so that's nice. My first break, so I get like a prep period and a lunch period, and my first prep period is at like 10 o'clock, so I am able to have like breakfast at work just later in the day I can't make breakfast though so I have to like think of things to bring and this week I was so not prepared I was not prepared to start on Wednesday so I was just like grabbing everything that I could um, I'm not just I'm not ready to stress myself out over food prep for work yet so I have rejoined Weight Watchers so that I could stop I have no excuse anymore I need to I'd like to lose 10 pounds before we start again and I know it's still gonna be a couple of weeks, months even, before we start again. So I have gone back to Weight Watchers, so woo for that. I'm, I am excited to try it again. I actually signed up for this two weeks ago, thinking that I would still try to follow Weight Watchers when I got pregnant. 
um, jokes on me and um, I have not been able to like get back on track because of craziness but I am gonna start this week trying the new freestyle once again um, because I need something I need a change I need other things to keep my mind busy yeah so thank you guys so much for all your prayers and every thing all your good thoughts anybody who messaged me on Instagram I just I really appreciate the support that I've gotten and the people that I've met going through all of this my journey's not over um, it's just a bump in the road and we will have our baby I'm gonna start crying I can't stop crying we will have our baby soon and we just have to start over I will see you guys in my next video.